Hi, welcome to our Mautic CRM video series provided by Higher Education Marketing. Mautic's powerful CRM and marketing automation technology allows you to create and customize a wide range of campaigns in Mautic. And today, we're going to show you how to be build a few simple campaigns. But don't interpret simple campaigns as those with relatively little impact. Campaigns like lead assignments and autoresponders play a significant role in recruitment and are essential for creating an efficient and effective digital marketing strategy. First, we're going to show you how to set up a new campaign. To start, navigate to the campaign section of Mautic using the main menu. Then to create a new one, simply select new. Then you could add general information about that campaign. You are required to name the campaign. In this case, we're gonna give it a test email. You can also give it a description and a category, and these will help you organize your campaigns. You can also select the publishing parameters using these fields here. To start building your campaign, click Launch Campaign Builder. You'll then be invited to choose a comp contact segment or campaign form. This is what's going to start off your campaign. If you select contact segment, as soon as a contact is added to the new segment, it will trigger that campaign. If you select campaign forms, as soon as a contact fills out a form, it will trigger the campaign. For this first example, we're going to create a lead assignment campaign. And this basically means that um, you're assigning leads to a specific uh, owner of your team based on their contact parameters. In this case, we're going to select contact segments because we want contacts that join a particular segment to be assigned to a particular owner for follow-up. For this, we're going to select which segment we want to use. In this case, we're going to click the French leads. You can also add multiple segments if you want. In this case, we're going to do just one. And then you can click add. The next step is determine what you want to happen, whether a contact is joined to a particular segment or they fill out a particular form. To do so, you click the little plus icon on the circle. You can then add a decision, which is made when a contact decides to take action or not, like open an email. You can add an action such as send an email or update a contact parameter, or you can choose a condition, which is based on known profile field values or submitted form data. So if they answer a certain give a certain answer to a question on a form, this would be condition right here. But in this case, we want to update their contact owner, so we're going to select action. Then you can choose from a wide variety of actions. In this case, we're going to select the update contact owner one. Then you can name the parameter. In this case, we're just going to call it update contact owner. You can choose when you want this event to be executed and you can choose which contact owner you want to add them to. Once you're done, you can click save and close. And that's it. Now you know how to create an autoresponder campaign. If you wanted to save this campaign, you would simply click apply and then be invited to save it. But in this case, we want to show you another example. So I'm just going to erase what we did previously. And then we're back to the main contact sources menu. Now for this example, we're going to show you how to create an autoresponder email campaign. And in this case, we're going to select campaign forms because we want it to be triggered when contact fills out a particular form. So we're going to select our webinar form, add that. And so what's going to happen is whenever a contact fills out the webinar form, the campaign will be triggered. Now we want to send an email. So what we're going to do is click the plus button here and then select action. Then from this drop down menu, we're going to select send email. You can then name this parameter. We're going to choose send email. Select when you want this event to occur. Will the email go out immediately or at a time later? And then you can select which email to send. Now in this case, we have our email autoresponder just right here. You can always preview the email or edit it or even create a brand new email in the Mautic Campaigns Builder. You can also select which type of email this is, whether it's marketing or transactional. When you're happy with this parameter, simply click add. Then to save your campaign, you can click apply, close the builder. And once you're happy with everything, you can click save and close to launch your campaign. If you publish it, of course, 
And if not, you can simply save it and go back to it and publish it at a later date. And that's it. Now you know how to create simple campaigns in Mautic. For more videos, please visit the Mautic CRM user section on our website at higher-education-marketing.com. Dash dash